Welcome to the Solar Decathlon Minute. Coming up, teams are entering the home stretch as this contest screams towards a finale. Here is event director Richard King. Today is the second most important day of the competition as 200 more points are up for grabs. At the beginning of the day, the top three teams were separated by only five or six points. Let's go see if the point spread intensifies as we join the prestigious Architecture and Communication Awards. Finishing as the first place winner in the U.S. Department of Energy Solar Decathlon 2015 Architecture Contest is Stevens Institute of Technology. The defining feature for us was really giving our community what it needed. Uh, a mix of local vernacular architecture with high performance building and uh, storm resiliency. Uh, so we bring a sustainable and resilient prototype for these coastal communities that are really vulnerable down the shore where we come from. Finishing as the first place winner of the U.S. Department of Energy Solar Decathlon 2015 contest is Stevens Institute. So uh, really the story behind our house is a very personal one. Uh, Hurricane Sandy not only affected Northeast and New Jersey, but we were really affected over at Stevens Institute. Uh, so a lot of that uh, communications, the successes we had on uh, our website and videos and various outreaches we made uh, came directly from our teammates who, if they weren't personally affected, uh, their families were affected by. So with this house, we've tried to educate people as to how to build sustainably and resiliently for their own projects in the future. And now for today's mid-afternoon results. Thanks to top awards in architecture and communications, Stevens lengthens its first place lead coming into the final day. A third place award in communications is enough to keep you at Buffalo solidly seated in second. Cal Poly grabs a third place award in architecture, which keeps the team in third place overall and with virtually the same point spread difference as yesterday. And those are the results, at least for today. That's it for the Solar Decathlon Minute. Tomorrow, the public is invited to attend the awards ceremony starting at 9.45 a.m. where the final points for the coveted engineering contest are awarded, which will determine the U.S. Department of Energy's 2015 Solar Decathlon Champion. We'll see you tomorrow. <laughs>